just answer, I'll just answer questions. Did that uh, look like a team that had been off for six days? That's what I just said on the radio, Todd. Like I told you after we practiced Christmas night, I'm telling you, they're energetic, uh, great passion. And I thought that how we practiced Christmas night, we worked all day yesterday. We had breakfast together. We watched film together. We lifted weights together, walked through together, lunch together. Um, came back and watched, it, uh, watched the West Virginia Seton Hall game, had practice, showered, ate together, watched the second half of the West Virginia Seton Hall, and then went over Presbyterian stuff. And then we had real practice. I woke him up at 6.30 this morning, and we had real practice for two hours in here this morning. I thought our energy was great, and uh, I thought they were ext extremely unselfish. And I thought that we did really good things more consecutively than we have over the last month. Coach, today we saw a little bit of a 1-2-2 two, two press and into the half court with uh, use at the top and then a triangle and two, I think, for a series or two. Is that something we can expect to see a little more of? Uh, we, we work on a lot of different things just to try to throw off the rhythm, uh, change the pace, whether that's to speed it up or to slow it down. Um, too often we, we have played uh, thus far through 11 games, uh, our field goal percentage defense was 41%. And I think in order to win the Big East, it probably needs to be 37. I think the teams that win the Big East over the last decade, it's basically been around 37. And we've got to figure out a way to get 41% down to 37%. And that's probably four or five more stops a game. Can, can we run one, two, two, three quarter court or half court or triangle and two or we have to find ways to change the rhythm of the game. Was it the complexion of the game in the second half that kind of spurred you to do the, the five guys in, five guys out? Yeah, I, w I wasn't. I, I, I didn't do that to um, create attention. Other than every day in practice, uh, when we do uh, preparation for our opponent, we play a game, and you have to have two stops in a row with the second stop being a clean stop, no offensive rebounds, no fouls, no anything, in order to get the offense. And offense, obviously, is the only way that you can score. So we'll play to 10 or play to 20. And in the shell prep, when we're doing it, you know, we'll do three or four things that West Virginia does. And that's the game. Winners get a drink, losers run. And at about the 10-minute mark is probably when I started doing that. I said, okay, we're going to play shell prep. Got to get two stops in a row. The second one's got to be clean. Otherwise, we're playing with five guys, a new five. Uh, shell drill is with four guys. And, you know, because of our team, we really don't have ten players. We only have nine. So we just play four on four. And we do a lot of preparation work in four on four. And so I, I don't think our guys were stunned by it because we do it every day. But I think we've got to find ways. I have to find ways to make them be more accountable to get cons consecutive stops in a row. You guys obviously start Big East play on Tuesday now. Um, I think you were predicted 12th by the coaches in the league, and we talked about that at the start of the season. Looking at the whole body of work that you've seen up to this point, you know, where do you feel you guys maybe fit in in the, in the hierarchy there at this point? I don't know the exact numbers of it. I think I've won the least number of Big East games in the Big East among head coaches. So. That's the way the coaches voted us, and uh, respectfully, I respect their wisdom, and so that's where we are according to them. That's not uh, saying it with an edge or a slant, and you know me well enough to know I, I've studied a lot of West Virginia, a lot, some Villanova, very little Georgetown, but it's, a, it's an eternity in those 18 games, and you know, uh, I hope we can continue to progress. I hope Eric can continue to help us. Joe can continue to have a distinct role. I think DJO is blossoming. I uh, was glad to have uh, Bikes have the pace that he had tonight, making simple plays. If we can just keep growing, uh, I don't know that we'll win, but I think that uh, we'll be fine. And I think we'll be a little bit better than fine, but I don't know when that's going to be. Maybe early, maybe late, maybe in the middle. We may be awful on either side of being good in the middle. And that's, I think that's the, uh, that's the challenge is you just got to throw good pitches every day because you can't hit a home run in the Big East because you got to do it the next night and the next night and the next night. And so uh, 
not not saying I don't respect the media and or where we were voted, but that that doesn't have anything to do with what we have to try to position ourselves to accomplish.